fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Sailor Sam is the smartest boy who ever shouted ship ahoy. He can weather any storm that blows. He's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Good old Cheerios. They got go. So nourishing because they're made from oats with minerals, vitamins, and proteins that your body needs. Yes, indeed. A bowl of Cheerios and milk really starts your day off right. Does all sorts of good things for your body. Helps you have strong bones and muscles, good red blood, and healthy nerves. So every morning, take on a bowl of Cheerios and milk for real go power. You like that wonderful toasted oat flavor, too. Downright delicious. Come to think of it, Cheerios is one of the tastiest muscle-building foods you can eat. Try Cheerios and you'll hear... He's feeling his Cheerios. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. I'm Silver. Hooray! Stella Bender owned the Rock Hill Cafe, and she ran it with a heavy hand. Stella was as tough as any man, and just as quick with a gun. One day in her office at the cafe, she was talking to two of her hired men. Jack, I sent for you and Wes because there's something important I have to talk over with you. Sure, Stella. What's on your mind? We thought it must be important since you had us come here to the cafe. My brother Frank smuggled out a letter from prison. I'll read it to you. Listen. Mm -hmm. Dear Stella, I'm getting out of here in a few days. My sentence was shortened because of good behavior. I'll head for your place and should get there sometime Monday. Well, that's today, yeah. Yeah. Well, he goes on to say, While in prison, I met an hombre who was with your husband's gang. He gave me a line on the man to blame for the gang's capture and for the hanging of your husband, Tex. When I arrive, we'll make plans for pulling a few jobs and forgetting the hombre I heard about. Be seeing you, Frank. You've waited a long time to find out who sent your husband to the gallows. I sure have, Wes. I swore I'd get even if I ever found out who it was. And when Frank gets here, I'll know for sure. Well, I'm glad Frank's coming. We need another good gunslinger. We're getting rusty sitting around, and all of us could use some ready cash. You're right. Hi, still. Good. Frank! We were just talking about you. Meet two of my gang, Jack and Wes. Oh, hey, hey, Jack. I know you. Wes. It's sure Let's good see. to see you again, Frank. Sit down and be comfortable. <clears throat> yeah, it's good to be free again. Prison life is pretty tough. Yeah, I reckon it is. I just read your letter to the boys, Frank. I'm anxious to know who the hombre is that sent text to the gallows. His real name doesn't matter. He's a tall hombre who wears a black mask, rides a big white stallion, and is known as the Lone Ranger. So it was a no-good owl who... Hold come. on, that isn't right. The hombre I mentioned isn't an outlaw. I understand he has an Indian friend who rides with him. Indian rides a paint horse. Now all we got to do is to locate that masked hombre and the Indian. Maybe we can make them come to us. How? I was told the Lone Ranger and his Indian friend head for any place where an outlaw gang is very active. Well? Look, Still, now join with the gang. We pull a lot of jobs, one after the other, like rustling a few cattle, stopping a stage, even holding up your own cafe some night. 
The news will spread, and those two hombres most likely will come snooping down here to trail the gang. Hmm. Maybe it'll work. From now on, those two hombres are marked for death. And I won't give up until they're done for. Where does the rest of the gang hang out? We bought a small farm in Jack's name. They stay out there. Nobody connects me with them. Now let's get our horses and leave by the back way for the farm so we can make plans. During the next two weeks, things began to happen in the vicinity of Rock Hill. The gang struck time and time again. The first job was stealing cattle one night from a nearby ranch. A lone cow hand was riding the range. Hey, what's the... Ho, ho, boy, ho, ho, there, ho. May I start, Lord? All right, get off your horse. Uh, sure, just as you say, easy. Yeah. All right, keep him covered, man. Right, right. I'll take your gun. Now I'll use it like this. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he's knocked out. Now let's get some of those cattle. Get back. Get back. Two days later, an express stage was held up. Come on, Joe. Holy Moses, a hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa,
What you just said gives me an idea, mister. Come on into my office a few minutes. Well, just as you say, Miss Bender. I'm Mrs. Bender, a widow. Let's get going. As Stella and the Lone Ranger, disguised as a cowpoke, walked toward her office, Toto, catching a signal from the Lone Ranger, turned and eased off the back door. Stella opened the office door. Go on in. Thanks. What's your name, stranger? You might just call me Tex. Tex. That was my husband's name. Uh, how would you like an easy job, Tex? Uh, doing what, Mrs. Bender? Just roaming around and keeping your eyes open. <laughs> you mean you're going to pay me for doing only that? Yeah, and I'll pay you well. Uh, what am I supposed to see while I'm a-looking? Right around the vicinity every day, stick around the cafe at night. And the minute you see a masked hombre on a white stallion and an Indian on a paint, let me know pronto. Why are you interested in them? Hex, I'll tell you only this much. That masked man and Indian are both marked for death. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. All over the country, in every direction, how you, how you do it is a question. And here's one the have that these people have to say. Eating, oh, eating, and do, 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 and okay. Okay. Take champions down south. They sure enough know about Wheaties. The Southland's favorite Wheaties fan is Musial, known as Stan the Man. Because when he swings his mighty bat, he nearly knocks that baseball flat. Another Southland pride and joy is Bobby Lane, a Wheaties boy. Because when he starts to turn on steam, he's sure a one-man football team. Just ask Stan Musial or Bobby Lane. They know the secret of Wheaties energy. There's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Wheaties, breakfast of champions. Keep on eating your Wheaties and you'll be do 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 and okay. to continue. Leaving Stella's office, the Lone Ranger met Toto in the shadows outside. Why are you going office, Kimoselli? The woman who owns the cafe gave me a job, Toto. Very unusual job at that. What kind of job? <laughs> and to keep my eyes open for two men who are marked for death. A masked man and an Indian. Oh. <laughs> that means us. <laughs> that plenty good job. Right. Uh, but me not, Sandy. And neither do I. So I'm going to find out. I'll have to work alone, Toto. We mustn't be seen together. We'll uh, go to the grove and get the horses. Then we'll separate for the time being. All right, let's go. The two men walked in silence to the grove on the edge of town where they had left Silver and Scout. As they approached the horses... <laughs> Toto, I've been thinking. Uh -huh. First, if I ride Silver or leave him hitched in town, someone may recognize him. That's right. You come to camp. We use berry juice and make brown patches on silver. Then him look like paint. Berry juice come off easy with water. Good. That's what we'll do. Let's get started for camp right now. Later, I'll tell you what else I have in mind. Easy, steady, be Easy, Scott. Easy, fella. One, two, three. Get him up. By the light of a blazing campfire, the Lone Ranger and Toto worked on silver until they were completely satisfied with the results. Yeah. Now no one knows, unless he make plenty close look. I think you'll get by all right. Uh, what else do you think about, Kimasabi? Uh, just this. I'll go back and be seen around the cafe for a while tonight. Tomorrow I'll meet you here again. Mm, that's good. Then tomorrow afternoon I'll take you back with me, Toto, and take you in to see Stella Bender. With my gun at your back, and I'll tell her I captured you. The masked man got away. Mm, that's a good idea. And we find out why I want Lone Ranger and Tonto. Later, Stella and her brother Frank sat at a table in the cafe. Stella pointed as a man entered. That's the hombre I was telling you about, Frank. What makes you so sure you can trust him? I didn't tell him anything. If he locates the masked man in Indian and reports it to me, then I might let him meet the gang. Yeah. Hey, Tex, come here. Sure. 
Sit Howdy, down, ma'am. Tex. Thanks. Meet my brother, Frank. How are you, Tex? Howdy, Frank. Where you been? I expected to see you around here. Oh, I was just scouting around outside in case those hombres you mentioned were snooping in towns. You locate them. We'll do the rest. I'll do my best, ma'am. That's all I ask you to do. No use you hanging around any longer if you don't want to, Tex. See you in the morning. Good night. Good night, ma'am. After leaving the cafe, the Lone Ranger made sure he wasn't watched. Then he took a piece of paper and a pencil from his pocket and hastily wrote a note. He wrapped the note around a silver bullet, then went to the sheriff's office and entered. Well, stranger, what can I do for you? Howdy, Sheriff. I was asked to bring this note to you. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Bullet wrapped inside. Hey, what is this? What... Hold on, this is a silver bullet. Is that so? Great day. Well, let's see what the note says. Dear Sheriff, my Indian friend and I shall be in the office at the cafe at 2 o'clock tomorrow. I'd appreciate having you watch the place, and if Mrs. Bender should leave there with either Tonto or myself, or both, I suggest you and your deputies follow. The result may be surprising. You know who sent that note? Why, of course I do. The Padre at the mission said I might hear from that masked man. He's the hombre who sent you, isn't he? Yep, he sure is, Sheriff. How come he trusts you so much, mister? <laughs> Reckon it's because I've known him a long time. Well, better be going now. So long, Sheriff. <laughs> The next day, a little before two, the Lone Ranger, in his disguise as a cowpoke, entered Stella's office. He was holding a gun on Toto. Get over yonder, Indian, and no tricks, Savvy. Uh, me savvy. Why, Thunder Stella, he did bring one of them. Here, I'll take his gun. Reckon this is one of the hombres you wanted. Found him camping out of ways. The masked man wasn't around. Anyway, we got the Indian. Yeah, and the masked man will follow his trail, and we'll have a trap waiting for him. My horse is saddled out back, and so is yours, Frank. We'll take the Indian out to the farm right now. We well, reckon I'd better come along if there's a chance for a good fight, ma'am. I want to be in on the finish. All right, Tex, you can come along. Let's get going. Come on. About half an hour later, Stella and Frank, with a lone ranger in disguise and Tonto as a prisoner, arrived at the farm and entered the bunkhouse. Holy smoke, you got the Indian, didn't you? Yep, thanks to our new member, Tex. Need Tex, boys. Howdy, fellas. Well, let's stop Jabber and decide what to do with the Indian. Tie him up until we get our hands on that lone ranger. Uh, Let me tie him, ma'am. I'll fix him up plenty tight. All right, go ahead, Tex. Bring over some cord, Wes. All right. Here it is. Thanks. Keep him covered, Frank. I'll have him tied in a jiffy. All right. Quickly and with seemingly hard effort, the Lone Ranger tied Tonto's hands behind his back. But unknown to the others, using a slip knot that could be easily loosened when necessary. Then placing Tonto on a bunk, the Lone Ranger tied his friend's feet the same way. There. That engine's well taken care of. Good. Now we'll just relax and wait for the masked man to show up. Half an hour later, a sudden storm broke, and for a short time, rain fell heavily. Yeah, this rain will wash away our trail still. Yeah. After the rain lets up, Tex will have to take us to where he found the Indian. We ought to find the masked man there. Yeah, but get rid of the Indian now. Then plug the masked man when we find him. Sounds like the storm's almost over now. The rain will be stopping. Good. Open the front door, Frank, and let the man here stop it. All right. Hey, Stell. Come here. What's the matter, Frank? As Stella walked to the door, the others followed, including the Lone Ranger. Frank pointed at the waiting horses and spoke. Look at the horse Tex was riding. You see what I see? The Lone Ranger looked over their shoulders quickly. Then he knew things were coming to a head, for the heavy rain had washed the markings off silver. The spotted horse Tex was riding has turned into a white stallion. Yeah, just like the Lone Ranger uses. As the outlaw swung around with guns drawn, the Lone Ranger's guns flashed into his hand. He's different already. He is the Lone Ranger. We'll gun him and the Indian right now. Give it to them. Quiet. Oh, my friend. 
my ribs. Oh. He greased my ribs. Yeah, sure. Why, that yellow double cross and no good coyote shooting at a woman. You're a killer along with the rest. Don't let that sneaking polecat scare you. Gun him. You're five to his one. While the Lone Ranger was giving attention to Stella, the others had spread out. He realized he and Toto were on the spot. But he was determined to go down fighting. All together, boys. Throw that door. Oh, come on. Drop those guns. Hey, what? We got you covered. Hey, the sheriff is behind us in the doorway. He's got his men with him. We're between two fires now. The Lone Ranger in front and the sheriff behind us. That's right. Sheriff, get that hombre. He and the Indian are outlaws. I said drop those guns. You heard what the sheriff said. I'm oh, right. I don't know what this is all about. But Ella Bender is leader of this outlaw gang, Sheriff. I was looking around in here and noticed an express company money box under that bunk over there. Uh, I'll go look. Well, it's fun to hear this, Sheriff. Must be the one taken from the stage last week. I've heard enough. Well, let's get them back to town, men. Take Stella and her brother with them. We'll learn a lot more before we're through. All right. You, mister. Come on, coming without your mask and calling yourself Tex while you're drawled all over the place. I could rip you to pieces gladly. Sorry, ma'am, you won't have that pleasure. I'll uh, come to collect my wages someday for completing that easy job you gave me. I did bring in the hombres you wanted, you know. <laughs> Hello, have you slipped out of those cords? Uh-huh. You ready to go? Me got gun back. Mister, whether I get out of this mess or not, I got friends who will hunt you down again. I'll be glad to meet your friends and send them to join you, Stella. Uh, Sheriff, Todd and I'll go from here to the main trail. We're uh, heading south. And again, thanks for following the suggestion in my note. You arrived just in time. Well, thanks to you and the Indian for tricking Stella and the others. Seems like a woman is even slicker than a man when it comes to being outside the law. <laughs> Adios, Sheriff. Oh, gosh, Sheriff, you didn't tell me who that hombre is. Oh, what's the matter with you? Haven't you ever heard of the Lone Ranger? <laughs> Feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Pendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.